Good afternoon, Dr. Nuriza. My name is Tuan Sui Fong. I am a student with a bachelor degree of technology management with honors from University of Malaysia, of Malaysia uh, where I develop a solid foundation in furniture design and manufacturing. Tell me about the toughest decision you had to make in the past six months. Uh, in the past uh, six months, the toughest uh, decision I had to make was related to uh, prioritizing a project. Uh, I was faced with uh, conflicting deadlines for two assignments, uh, which include my final year project and other uh, subjects group assignment. Uh, both, uh, both assignments require a lot of time for edit research, and uh, at the same time, I was always uh, lost ideas for designing furniture in the final year project. So after a uh, careful uh, consideration and effective communication with uh, my group members, uh, I decided to focus on the uh, group assignment first, uh, which would affect uh, the scores of uh, all other members, uh, even though uh, it means less time to draw design inspiration for my final year project. So, uh, of course, I keep balancing the two, and in the end, I successfully completed both relatively satisfying assignments uh, within the deadline. Tell me about the time you needed to motivate a co-worker. Uh, I remember that uh, it was a few days before Valentine's Day on February 14 uh, in this year. Uh, I was invited by my boss uh, to go back to the florist to help out uh, for a few days uh, because the florist was short of manpower and uh, had a lot of uh, bouquet orders. And there is a new customer service uh, who had just been uh, hired and did not have uh, any experience yet uh, to a major festival to handle a large number of uh, orders at the same time. So uh, I noticed that uh, the new customer service feel overwhelmed uh, by the endless calls and uh, message uh, from the customers and the delivery drivers. Uh, so to motivate her, uh, I have emphasized her strength in being patient with the customers and uh, the drivers and also express the confidence uh, in her abilities. So, uh, I also taught her how to communicate with the customers more effectively uh, and imparted my experience on how to quickly get uh, the customers to place orders and how to arrange the orders uh, at the delivery areas for the delivery drivers. So, uh, by creating a supportive environment, uh, we successfully fulfilled a large volume of orders during the busy days and also the new customer service staff are uh, able to gain a uh, greater confidence and experience. Tell me about a goal you achieved. Um, one goal I achieved was well, by participating in a furniture design competition uh, where I was challenged to create an innovative and functional furniture uh, that aligned with the team of uh, sustainable Development Goals, uh, which is uh, SDG. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, to research the information about the sustainable design and uh, sustainable materials uh, through the communication and guidance with my supervisor. Uh, I improved my design concept and solved the problems of uh, innovative uh, direction and also the practical functions. So uh, the result was a furniture design that not only meet the competition standards but also pushed the boundaries of traditional furniture design. So uh, my furniture design was recognized and I won the third prize. Um, this achievement is a testament uh, to my ability uh, to combine the uh, creativity and functionality and also my commitment. Uh, to achieve outstanding results in the design projects. Okay, I have no more questions for now. Thank you. Thank you for offering me uh, the opportunity to interview.